Today's lesson is 12-4, Reflections of Points. Okay, so uh, you watched a video today on CON. It was called Reflecting Points on the Coordinate Plane. And then I want you to write this vocabulary in your notebook. A reflection is the mirror image produced by flipping a figure across a line. So let's see, when a point is reflected across the y-axis, the y-coordinate stays the same and the x-coordinate reverses its sign. It becomes the opposite. When a point is reflected across the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same and the y-coordinate reverses its sign. Make sure you write that down. All right, so here we have it highlighted. If we're reflecting across the y-axis, the x-coordinate becomes the opposite. If we're reflecting across the x-axis, the y-coordinate becomes the opposite. Now, you would think it would be the opposite, and you would think it'd be the other way around, but um, that's the way it goes, and, we'll, and you'll, you'll see when we, we do some examples. So here in the intro, we have the number line shows that negative 4 and 4 are opposites. They are the same distance from 0 in opposite directions, okay? So we've got 1, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 units, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And that's going um, in the positive direction, and this one is going in the negative direction. So, they are in opposite directions, but they are the same distance from zero on the number line. That means they are opposites, okay? So, we could say that positive 4 is a reflection over zero of negative 4. Now, in a coordinate plane, the points negative 4, comma, 0 and 4, comma, 0 are the same distance from the origin in opposite directions. So those points are reflections across the y-axis. So if you look at this, here is, here is the y-axis, okay? And here we have, here we have um, negative four comma zero, okay? So it's negative four comma zero, zero. And it's four units away from the origin and then we have the reflection of that negative 4, comma, 0 at positive 4. 1, 2, 3, positive 4, comma, 0 right here. So those are reflections of each other. Now, notice what we have right here. Okay, it says in the coordinate plane, when you reflect a point across a line, you name the reflected point using prime notation. In the figure here, Right here, I'll highlight it. It says A with a little tick mark there, okay? So that tick mark, the way we say that is composite, okay? So here we say that point A is at negative 4, comma 0. And then we say the reflection of point A is at a composite, which is at 4, comma, 0, okay? So A composite, if you look up here, it says, I'm going to write it a little bit um, bigger. It says A composite, 4, comma, 0. So this part right here is the A composite. That's telling you that that's the reflected point. So the way we write A composite is A with a little apostrophe like that. So for example one, we want to identify reflections of points across the x-axis. Now, if we are, just like we said in the, in the vocabulary, if we are reflecting across the x-axis, that means the y value is going to change to the opposite, okay? So let's take a look at this. We want to write the ordered pair that is a reflection of a, point a, at negative, th negative three and a half comma two across the x-axis. So we want to reflect across the x-axis. Reflect across the x-axis. 
across the x-axis, and the point that we want to reflect is this. So this is our original, our original point, okay? So negative three and a half, let's put it on the, on that coordinate plane. So here's negative three and a half, comma two. So negative three and a half goes to the left and up two. So here is my um, original A. Now, so now here it says, find the point on the coordinate plane that is the same distance from the x-axis as the original point, and then graph and label it. So here you can see this is um, three and a half minutes away from the, oh, I'm sorry, we're reflecting all over the um, x-axis. So here's the x-axis. We want to know, and so this point is two units away. So that's one, two units away from the, the x-axis. So that means we want the point that is two units in the opposite direction. So a composite then will be on the same vertical right here and two units in the opposite um, direction on the other side of the x-axis. So that's going to be one, two. So here, this is a composite. So this a composite is the reflection of a, okay? So down here it says, when a point is reflected across the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, and the y coordinates are the opposite. So if you take a look, I'm just going to write these down. I'm going to write down these points. So we have um, A is at negative 3 and a half, comma 2. A composite is at negative 3 and a half, comma, negative 2. Does everybody see that? So we are reflecting over the x-axis. And remember, this is x comma y. Right? Those are those ordered pairs. Look at which one changes to the opposite. So here, the y value changes to the opposite. It's originally positive, now it's negative. So when we reflect over the x-axis, the y value becomes the opposite. So with your table partners, I want you to write the ordered pair that is a reflection of q, um, 1 and 1 half, comma, 2 and 1 fourth, across the x-axis. Okay? You can graph it, or you can do what we just did right here. Okay, so I graphed it first. Okay, and we graphed um, positive one and a half, comma, one, uh, two and one fourth. So it's one and a half, one, two, and one fourth. There's Q. And then in the opposite direction, on the other side of the x axis, there's one, two, and one fourth. So there is Q composite. Okay, so that means now. Let's just take a look to see. What, let's write it like this. We're starting with Q, and that's 1 and 1 half, so 1.5, comma 2 and 1 fourth, so that's 2.25, both positive. Now, if I want Q composite, okay, and we're reflecting over the x axis, that means the y value is going to become the opposite. So this positive 2 and 2.25 is going to become a negative 2.25. So we've got 1 and a half here, comma, negative 2.25 right there. So you'll notice again that the y values become the opposite. All right, so example two is identify reflections of points across the y-axis. Now, we just in example two, we came up with a rule. 
Now, on this one, we're reflecting across the y-axis. So which one do you think, which point is going to be the opposite? If we're reflecting across the y-axis, the x value is going to change. So the x value changes to the opposite. So this one says, Crystal is building a square fence. The location of one corner of the fence is shown on the grid. That's going to be the S, point S at uh, negative 2, comma 2. What is the location of the post that reflects point S across the y-axis? So we want to reflect across the y-axis. So this says, this is, this point is negative 2, comma 2. That means that S composite is going to be 2 units on the other side of the y-axis. So here, let's do this in blue. So that's S. So we've got, um, from the y-axis, we've got 1, 2. So here, this is going to be S composite, which is going to be 2, comma, 2. Okay? Now, again, you can look at that by using those, um, I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to write it right here. So we have a point S, and that's negative 2, comma, 2. And then we have S composite which is 2 comma 2. Now, look at the one, which, which uh, coordinate is the one that changed to the opposite? Look at it. The x value changed to the opposite. We reflected over the y-axis, so the x value, this is, remember, x comma y, changed to the opposite, okay? So when a point is reflected across the y-axis, the y-coordinate stays the same, and the x-coordinate changes to the opposite. Let's highlight that. So when we reflect across the y-axis, the x-coordinates change to the opposite. Okay? So the coordinates of the reflection um, of, of the point S at negative 2 comma 2 across the y-axis is S composite at 2 comma 2. So here, example B, I would like you to do that with your table partners. If you're watching the video, just pause it and then wait for the solution. All right, now on this one, you'll see, let's see, it says Rico is building a garden fence in the shape of a square. We place the corner point at the fence at 10.2 comma negative 5 comma 3. What is the location of the corner that reflects that corner post across the y-axis? Now, I'm going to tell you that I don't want to graph that. This is one that I would not want to graph, and I'm just going to use the rule, okay? We know that we are reflecting... Um, uh, over the y-axis, so we know that the x value is going to change to the opposite. So let's write our original point, and let's just call it, um, let's call it, I don't know, t. Okay, let's call it t, or let's call it p for the post. So p is at 10.2, comma, negative 5.3. Okay, now we are reflecting over the y-axis. So P composite, if I'm reflecting over the y-axis, which one's going to change to the opposite? The X is going to change to the opposite. Okay, and remember, this is X comma Y. So that positive 10.2 is going to become a negative 10.2. So here we've got negative 10.2 comma negative 
5.3. Simple as that. You just have to remember your rules. If you are reflecting over the x-axis, the y value changes. If you are reflecting over the y-axis, the x value changes. All right, example three is to identify the axis of reflection. So we want to know, are we reflecting over the x-axis or are we reflecting over the y-axis, okay? So for example A, we're going to do example A using this table over here, and we'll use this one for example B, okay? So it says the point A composite at negative 2 and 3 fourths comma negative 4 is the result of reflecting the point A at 2 and 3 fourths comma negative 4 on the coordinate plane. We want to know, we want to identify the axis across which the point was reflected. So we're going to complete this table and then we're going to check it out. Complete the table to compare the coordinates of the original point and the point after the reflection. Once we compare them, then it will tell us which ones, I mean, which axis we reflected over, okay? So, the original point is this one. This is the original point, okay? So that is going to be 2 and 3 fourths positive. comma, the y coordinate is negative 4, okay? The reflected point, let's highlight that in yellow, is the composite point, okay? So that, and I'll write that in black, okay? The x value, the x coordinate, is a negative two and three fourths. And the y value is negative four. Now, which values changed to the opposite? That's all we have to figure out. Which, which, which value changed to the opposite? Well, you can see the x coordinate changed to the opposite. So, if the x value changed to the opposite, which axis did we reflect over? We reflected over the y axis. We reflect over the y axis, the x value changes to the opposite. You get it? So let me write this in red. And here. So we reflected over the y axis because the x coordinate changed to the opposite, changed from positive to negative. All right, so I would like for you to do with your table partners example B. You're just going to write it up here in this table. All right, so letter B says the point M composite at 2 and 1 third comma negative 1 is the result of reflecting point M at negative 2 and 1 third comma negative 1 in the coordinate plane. And we want to identify across which, um, the axis across which the point was reflected, which axis did it reflect over, okay? So, we want the original point. And again, remember, the original point is the one that does not have the, the, um, the little, uh, composite mark. So this is the original, which is negative two and one third comma negative one. So let's write that in there. So we've got the original point, the x value is negative two and one third, and the y coordinate, the y value is negative one. Now let's get reflected, which is the composite, that's the reflected point, and that one 
For that one, the x value is positive 2 and 1 third. And the y value is negative 1. So now, again, you can see which one changed to the opposite. The value that changed to the opposite, again, is the x value, the x coordinate. So if the x coordinate uh, changed to the opposite, which one did we reflect over? We reflected over the y-axis again. So again, for example B, we reflected over the y-axis because the x-coordinate for, for these points is what changed to the opposite. All right, example four is a little bit of geography. So we're looking at this and it says Samantha drew a map of the park in her neighborhood. She graphed the point P, she graphed point P at negative 3.5 comma negative 3.5 for the playground. That's where the playground is. The fountain is located at P composite. The fountain is located at P composite. And that is a reflection of P across the y-axis, okay? So let's look at this. We've got point P, that's the playground. Let's write playground. Okay, and that is at P, negative three and a half comma negative three and a half okay so there's the playground now the fountain is p composite so let's write fountain is that p composite okay now this is a reflection across the y-axis it's a reflection of p so if we're reflecting over the y-axis, which value changes to the opposite? The x value changes to the opposite. Okay? The x value changes to the opposite. So, let me just highlight my x value just so I don't make any mistakes. And we're going to change that to the opposite. So, P composite, or where the fountain is, is going to be at positive 3.5 comma negative 3.5. Okay. Now, it says the picnic tables are loaded, located at P, and look, there's two of them there. So the way we say that, picnic tables are located at P composite composite. Okay. So that's where the picnic tables are. P, composite, composite. So let's write that down. So we've got uh, picnic tables. And that is at P, composite, composite. Now, that says that the picnic tables are a reflection of P, composite, across the x-axis. Now, if we're reflecting over the x-axis, which value changes to the opposite? That one, again, is going to be the y value. So the y value here is going to change. So let me highlight the y value. All right, I'm doing, so there's the y value. And that one, to get to the picnic tables, is going to change to the opposite. So P composite composite is going to be positive three and a half comma, positive, three and a half. And there are your coordinates for the playground, the fountain, and the picnic tables. Okay? So now I would like for you to do this example on your own. So example B says Michelle drew a map 
of the route she walks every day after school. She starts at the front entrance of the school, which she has graphed at the point S. Point S is at negative three and a half comma negative two and a half. She walks to the bird feeder, which is located at S composite. And that S composite is a reflection of S, reflection of S across the X axis. Okay, that's a reflection across the X axis. So if it's if we're reflecting across the X axis, the Y value changes. Y value changes. I spell value well. The Y V A L U E. The Y value changes. Okay? So let's do that one first. So she starts at the entrance. Oops, let me put that in yellow. She starts at the entrance of the school. Okay? So let's start by writing entrance. And that point is S, point S, and that is at negative three and a half, comma, negative two and a half. Okay. And then she walks to the bird feeder. So let's write bird feeder. And the bird feeder is S composite. So S composite. Now, it says that S composite is a reflection of S across the X axis. So if we're reflecting over the X axis, the Y value changes to the opposite. Okay? So my new point for my bird feeder is negative three and a half, comma, positive two and a half, okay? Now, once she walks to the bird feeder, then she walks to her, uh, to where her, her mom picks her up, and that's gonna be an S composite composite. So let's write pick up, okay? And that's gonna be S composite composite. Now, let's read the details. So let's see. S composite composite is a reflection across the Y axis, okay? And that um, would be, a co the, it's a reflection of S composite, because we did composite, now we're doing composite composite. So S composite composite is a reflection of S composite. Don't get confused. Now, we are reflecting across the y-axis. So if we're reflecting across the y-axis, the x value changes. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my x value because that's the one that's going to change. And the x value is this one. Okay, it's going to change to the opposite. So s composite, it's negative, now it's going to be positive. So we're going to have um, S composite composite will be a positive three and a half, comma, a positive two and a half. That one doesn't change. All right. So there are your your um, your uh, ordered pairs for the entrance, the bird feeder, and the pickup location. Good. So now you can do your homework. Now, on this one, you guys, there are two IXLs, okay? The first IXL is like normal. You can, you can do that until you, until you get whatever score you want. But this one is new. We just, we just wrote this quiz. This is a quiz. It's not really a quiz quiz, but it's called a quiz. Um, it's it's going to be your homework. It's going to be a homework grade. Um, but for this IXL quiz, reflections of points, you only get one chance, okay? You only get one chance. So whatever the score is that you get, that's what you get. So you 
I would suggest to you to write down your work. All right.